Hello guys, welcome to another drawing video. First off, I just want to say that this video is a tiny bit delayed. I was supposed to upload this last Friday, but I've been sick with a sore throat, so I didn't even want to think about doing a voiceover. And I may sound a little weird or nasal since I'm still having a cold, so I'm gonna try to not talk too much today. Hope you don't mind. Anywho, it's time for another scrawler box, and this is a monthly art supply subscription box, and it ships worldwide. I'm not sponsored or anything, but if you want to check out this box yourself, there will be a link in the description box below. So let's take a look at all the stuff inside the box. First we have the featured artist, which is Sydney Nielsen. They made this awesome portrait with this kind of glass shards effect, really interesting. Next is the list of all the supplies inside the box, and scroller box always comes with a challenge in which you are supposed to use all supplies inside the box to create something from a given word or a phrase. And this month's challenge is Shattered Self, and that can be quite deep if you want it to be. So the first supplies is a set of Stellar Norris color pencils, and I really love the feeling of these pencils. They have this rubbery kind of texture, so it feels really nice to hold. This seems like a lovely little set. Next is something I'm quite excited about, a brush pen, and this is a Kuretake Wink of Luna with this delicious blue shimmery ink. It is super pretty, and I love the crescent moon. Then we have a Kuretake Post Chalk Dry Wipe Marker, and that is quite a name for a pen. It's a white chalk marker that apparently appears gradually when drawing, which is pretty cool. Two pens from Artline. One is called 210 Medium, and it's blue. The second one is called 200, and it's black with a 0.4mm nib. Next we have an Artline poster marker, also metallic blue, and this is an opaque paint marker with a bullet nib. Then lastly we have two sheets of unknown paper to use all these supplies on. So that are all supplies inside the box, let's see if I can create something from the theme Shattered Self by using all these materials. So the first thing, as usual, I'm trying out all the different supplies to see what I have to work with, and I actually really like all of them so far. The color pencil seems quite pigmented, and I was actually expecting them to be horrible, but I will talk more about that later. I totally forgot that the white chalk marker appeared gradually, so I first saw that it didn't work at all. My memory is very good, but also very short. So I'm drawing this girl here with a quite neutral face expression, which is on purpose. I thought I used the metallic pens for the hair, so I outlined it with a blue pen, and for the rest of the face I used the black fine liner. It was nice pens, I think, especially the black one, which I haven't tried before. I have tried fine liners from the Artline brand before in the past, but only colored ones. I have quite a few different fine liners in my collection now, thanks to these art boxes. Then I started coloring with the color pencils, and I didn't just want to go with boring skin tone, I wanted to use all the colors. 
So about these color pencils, I've seen a few people complaining about them and I honestly don't know why. I've heard that they are waxy and hard to blend and left crumbs on the paper and so on. I didn't have that experience at all, I mean they are not my all time favorite color pencils to use, but they blended quite nicely and they looked pigmented and I didn't notice any extra pencil crumbs on the paper. I didn't even notice any smudging, so I can't say that I have anything bad to say about these. I could even say that I would use these again, so yeah, I actually like the color pencils. I like doing these little hatching or lines and stuff to add more texture and bring more interest to the drawing. That is also a very good way to blend the colors. If you're having trouble blending or layering them, do cross hatching or semi cross hatching and the colors will mix together more easily. I really love the look of all the different colors together. Moving on to the hair, I used the Luna brush pen as a base and it is like a dusty blue with a hint of shimmer and I really like it. The only downside is that it is a bit messy to use, I got a lot of ink on my fingers and it was actually quite hard to get off even with soap and water, but I always get paints on my fingers so that is nothing new. I remember in the first scroller box I ever opened, there was this similar pen, but it was called Wink of Stella, I think, and it had this silver glitter ink, and it was also really nice. So I can really recommend these pens if you like brush pens, I wish I had more of them. Then on top of that I added the metallic blue poster marker and I first thought it would blend together more with the other metallic ink. It is almost the same color but it is a different metallic, it is more shiny and bright. So I think it looked really nice as a highlight on top of the matte blue. The color pencils and the metallic ink looks really nice together and to tie it together even more I also used the ink for her eyes and the septum ring. So you are probably wondering what is happening with the theme Shattered Self. Personally I think it is a quite deep theme, but you can also take it more literal, so I decided to do a little bit of both. I wanted her to have this calm, relaxed expression. Because it isn't unusual that the people that look the most calm on the outside are actually the ones that are most stressed and torn or sad or whatever it could be on the inside. And I'm not saying that all relaxed looking people are stressing out internally, but sometimes you just can't see it because they are hiding it and keeping it on the inside. And that isn't very pleasant, so that is what I wanted to illustrate here, kind of, and I'm just gonna let this piece speak for itself. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out because I've been thinking and thinking and thinking about what I should make with this challenge. I didn't want it to turn out too depressing because I want my art to spread happiness, but since I can also kind of relate to it, I wanted to make it somewhat thoughtful to give you something to think about, I guess. So yeah, let me know what you think about it. I had a lot of fun with this box and I really recommend checking out Scrawlerbox if you love delicious art supplies like I do. I love the Wink of Luna brush pen and I like the color pencils and the fine liners too so I think this was a great box. That is all for today, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more videos and challenges and fun things. And I will see you next time which will be later this week I think. Thanks for watching, keep drawing my happy cats, bye!